So yo, Big facts. We're, 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 we're gonna get into this interview with you right now because yeah, you know we just got some the, questions. We did the live. Okay, okay. We're Why like you just jump out of the camera, so sir? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. I, I wanted to just. I'm right, stay in the light. Stay in the light. Yeah, it's okay. You can still stay there. Just but yeah, we did the live. On. Um, the live um sparked this, and give us one word that describes you. Me? Yes. Yeah, right. Unique. I like that. And why unique? Because there ain't nobody like me. That's ah, why. Ah, 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 ah. And I mean that in oh, the I'm most sorry. humblest <laughs> way. Because at the end of the day, if you're sure of who you are, there ain't nobody like you. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That's true. That's true. So you were asked in a live too. Uh, what would be your fashion style? Honestly, mm-hmm. I just. I dress how I feel. Mm. So if today I feel like just like I'm happy or I feel like, you know, I want to stand out, I just spread. If I want to stand out, I just dark, you know what I'm saying? Kind of thing. I don't know. Stop honestly, being humble. To be you real. You are like an anime princess. No, no, no. Honestly, but that's the thing. On what occasion, right? Because... You I'll see me I'll like that at video yeah. shoots and photo Shout shoots. Shout out Sailor Moon. Part of it. I got it. Yup. I got it. He only met me once, now he won all of it. Not to say I don't dress like that on a, like a regular day, but I kind of just dress like how I feel. Yeah. And if sure. I like it, I like it, you know what I'm saying? So you just shouldn't dress, dress. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not like, I, I can't even say that I fit in one fashion style or fashion sense. Like, to be honest, if I just like it, I just like it kind of thing. Okay. So why rap? My dad. Ambience. My biggest, um, honestly, my biggest inspiration was my Archangel pop Michael. Oh, uh-huh. your, pop, your pops, yeah, yeah. Do you, do you want to tell the people who your pops is or no? Or just leave I'll that people. Um, Dolo from Ghetto Concept, ah, legend. It's a big deal, <laughs> that's a big I know, deal. Shoot, I, have, I have sound effects, but I'm loafing right now, my bad. But yeah, legend. So yeah. he inspired you, yo. How, yeah, he did. How is that like? Like growing up, how was like? Yeah, like, like what's like, that like? Like okay, so I got to give you guys a story. Um, okay, wait, hold your story just okay. one second. Where did you grow up? Honestly, when I was in my younger years, I grew up in Scarborough. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, my parents, when they split up, I stayed in Scarborough with my mom. We moved for around the age of nine, and we moved to like that's when my mom got money. We moved to Richmond Hill. Yeah. We moved back to the after Richmond Hill. We moved to the Rex, random, right? Okay. Yeah, we moved to the Rex. I went to school in the, in the Rex, and we moved to Malta. What school did you go to in the Rex? I went I'm to back. Bosco. I'm Bosco, and oh. I went to Naki. Oh, okay, okay. It's in high school then. Yeah. Oh, okay, school, okay. Yeah. So, to be honest, for my middle school years, I spent most of my time in Richmond Hill. Mm. Okay. Cool. So, going back to the legend now. Go on, wait, the story. Sorry, I just wanted okay, to get yeah. a little bit back. So, like he said, like, okay, how is it? To be honest, like, with my dad, he, like, the bar was always set high. You know what I'm saying? Um, when we were young, when I was younger, me and my sister used to see my, go see my dad and shit. He used to have his little setup studio and shit. And he always used to be, like, encouraging us to rap and shit and freestyle. And, like, I used to go in the bathroom. Be like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna freestyle and go right on my music. I'm like, no, no pad. I'm like, I can't freestyle against my dad. Like, he's too sick. Write it out, you know, rehearse it, rehearse it, rehearse it, and come like it's, you know, fresh. Because yeah. it was just like impossible to be. Like, like he was just that sick, you know what I mean? Was it intimidating a little bit? Like, I'm so intimidated to this day. Like, <laughs> I be showing my dad stuff, and like, he gives me advice, but like, I get like nervous before I show him because I just know how talented he is, you know? Favorite ghetto concept song? Easy on the motion. Stop this. You didn't even have to <laughs> yeah, think. Yeah, you didn't have to think That was about like it. breathing to her. Right away. Right why why, why on that? The motion. I even did a cover to it. Stop. Oh, okay. Fire. Yeah, do, do you have songs with him? No, but we're working on it. Stop. So oh, okay. I'm actually going to feature him. It was supposed to be a surprise, but I'm going to bust the secret anyways. Okay. It's supposed oh. to be on my album stuff. So. Yeah. So. July 22nd? July 22nd. July 22nd. July 22nd. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. Just him or both? Um, Just him. 
Mm. Um, if I can get all, like I talk to Infinite here and there, um, we're in good standing. But he's a very busy man. If mm. I could get him on it before then, I, I'll, I, I'd love that too. You know. But as far as right now, just stands. Uh, my dad's the only other concert member I have on my album right now. That's that's dope, man. That's really dope for the people that didn't know it's that. Very and dope. shout out to too. I didn't mean to leave him out, but he's super, he's more busier than all of them, so <laughs> he's impossible to reach. You know what I mean? Yeah, it doesn't matter. So he, he needs to work with you because you're gonna be very busy just now too. Which is true. Busy as hell now. So I know you wanted to ask this question. Um, I did. Do you want to ask me a question? Oh uh, no, we'll, we'll get to that okay. in, in a bit. I got a question for Century, but yeah. No, her first. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. We got. You understand? Got this is the moon. <laughs> I know this is alpha and so omega. You know what I mean? Sunlight so like and goddessness. Who is? No, uh, you skipped it though. You skipped you the other one. Oh, okay. Ask it. Which one though? Oh, okay. I don't really like asking this question, but if you could compare yourself to uh, any artist, who would you compare yourself to? Lauren Hill, my favorite. Ooh, why That's Lauren? Honestly, that is why. And I to be honest, her. I even feel bad saying that because she's so great. You know what mm. I'm saying? Like, I don't want to put myself on bad. that on that pedestal because yo, she's Talk great. You know, she put in her hours. I can never be compared, literally, to that. You know what I mean? But I compare myself to Lauren Hill because I sing and I rap. You know what I'm saying? And she did both. And she's a she's a strong she's a strong woman. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I see it. And she's a spiritual woman. I'm. Spiritual I never Christian thought too. of it before today, but I see it now. Mm-hmm. I would have thought. Really? I thought you would have said like Foxy or Kim. I wouldn't have gave you. Fo- I wouldn't have definitely I get the not Remy Ma Foxy. comparison yeah, all the time. She's she's not, she's I wouldn't. I, I would I would have never gave you Foxy. Just because I'm a hater and then <laughs> disrespect the Foxy, but I'm a Kim fan till I die. Kim's my favorite because you already know she's a cancer. Bam, 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 and she's playing some music, like mm-hmm. new shit that you guys can't even hear. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> I heard it first. Yeah. <laughs> like, yo, she's playing the music, dog. And I'm like, yo, she has like this Canadian um, luxuriousness to her, like Celine Dion. Oh, I like that. Right? But then so, she yeah, has this the little auntie, Kim, auntie. nasty, mm-hmm. but it's not just the nasty party. Eh? Mm-hmm. Like this chick, I'll never call her a bitch, eh? This chick right here, this lady, this woman, this empress. Honestly, if we're friends, Luna, has I'm going to call you a bitch. I'm just telling no, you. No, we are friends, but we are on the air as I'm well. I'm just saying on the ones, I called you that. See, but this is not the ones, right? So when the trio or no of us just cut off this, we can't talk. But no, look at me, homie. Like, yo, you seen her style, right? Like, I hate her. <laughs> You laugh. That's a real shit. She. That's a real I'm shit. I'm gonna show you some and real stuff right that. now about Luna right now. She's so fucking humble. She's like, oh, Sanjay, I'm gonna let you know what we're wearing to the studio tonight because we're gonna go live. Imagine she showed me a picture of like a black T-shirt and black shorts. I was like, okay, cool. But something in my head is like, nah. <laughs> This girl ain't coming regular style. I put like little gold things in my hair. This girl came with. This like um Guns N' Roses t shirt, okay? Daisy Duke's fucking black jeans, mm-hmm. okay? And and boots that oh, Gene shiny, Simmons shiny himself kings, shiny, shiny kissed that, Gene that Simmons were himself. Mm-hmm. Thousand bitches fucking photographed Gene Simmons himself would have worn. And she's like, Oh, this is nothing. Like and then she has like I li- like Luna, explain. Can you explain to them your style? Explain your style, cause your style is so cool. Cause they can cut me out. Mm-hmm. See, but I don't know. There's nothing else to say about my style, man. No, if I like it, I gotta have I it. Like, she, I was like, I like that. That's actually great. <laughs> I like amazing. that. And I like that you said Lauren Hill. I wouldn't have gave you that. I appreciate that. But I have a question that I've been dying to ask you. You know, You're because right. now I can, if I get the answer that I can bust a secret later. Right. So, who is Wanda De Niro? Mm. Oh, Wanda De Niro, that's my old rap name. 
Tell me about that person. Yes, who was that person? That person was honestly. That person needed a lot of growing up to do. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Um, I feel like in that time in my life, <clears throat> I was lost. Thank you. I'm saying. Yeah. Um, a lot of people have a, qu- a lot of questions about my name change. Honestly. Um, Tell us about it so that you it can was clear like a it up. Clear up the me, facts. You know what I mean? A mm-hmm. rebirth for me. I did a lot of inner work. There's a lot of things that I had to fix within myself, within my situation. You know what I mean? And I kind of re- re- renamed myself because I felt like the Juan de Niro, it didn't really fit with who I became or mm-hmm. who I evolved to become. You know what I mean? Whereas Luna Soleil, which if you if you you know if you're good with languages you know it means moon and sun mm-hmm. which is like the moon and sun are un- everlasting you know what i mean and if you're familiar with astrology the moon is is it's associated with cancer the sun is, a, uh, is associated with leo i'm a cancer leo cusp so that's why i, I name myself luna soleil but also the moon provides is this it's like a, a wise thing you know what i mean the moon is full of secrets the moon is full of like you know wisdom so I couldn't find like a better name to kind of describe myself. Also, like it's a contrast because like I'm a type of person that I can be quiet and like you know to myself, and then I could be loud and like vibrant. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. I like mm-hmm. that. Beautiful. Kind of fit me better. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. Good, good. What, I like that. What's the best and worst things about Wanda Dinero? Honestly, the best thing about me. Is no. I'm very no, no, it, it, hold, it's on. So hold on. Yeah, you're not answering the question. Yeah, I'm saying Wanda what was the Niro? Oh, about Wanda uh, De Niro because oh, well, you said you what made was the best thing about Wanda De Niro? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, the best and worst. Like, what was it? To be honest, the best thing about Wanda De Niro is the best thing about me now. The worth ethic was always there. Mm-hmm. I was always a hard worker, even under that name. That's one thing that never ever changed. But I was, I was not mature. I wasn't level headed. You know what I mean? I wasn't like how I am now. Okay. The re the rebranding. Rebranding, regrouping, everything. Ah, Luna, Sole. Again, we got you in the building. Oh, it's Century Sam here. Mm-hmm. How's the writing process, dog? Do you do you write now? Because you said that back in the day, you used to write in your pen. Do you write? Um, I write. Yeah, yeah, you still I write. write. I write a lot, so to be honest, I write like three songs a day and shit. Do you, uh, do you listen to the beat first or do you just have stuff that you just write and you nah, throw I, it on the beat? Honestly, I'm, I'm more an organic artist in the sense that I write to the beat. The beat has to be there for first. It has to be made right then and there, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I can't just write a verse and, and add a beat. No, I, I don't I don't believe in that process. True. I believe it has to start from the ground up. Yeah. So if you're giving me the beat, now I'm writing the song once I hear the beat. I'm not taking the verse and throwing it on the beat True. it doesn't work that way for me you know is there a producer give me a toronto and oh, american right. producer that's that you would want to work with how about that i want to continue working with okay even hey um honestly there's uh crow gang he's a good yeah he's most of my album he produced most of my album he's from toronto he's from toronto yeah all right shout out crow gang crow gang yeah okay crow gang or you can also know he's also known as City McGritty. He was a rapper before, but he Put started doing up. some producing and shit. Put your hands mm-hmm. Two twenty as well. I was gonna get to that, my nigga. Come on, yeah, man. like just cool <laughs> be. You, you can't be behind. Like, have no can't face. Face. Come on, man. You can't man. be back. You can't be back book. behind the scenes and just doing writer, quotations. I was about to get to that, you know, because two twenty just sent me a beat pack yesterday and it's fire. He made me even want to go back and and revise my whole um, album. To be honest, nice, nice. Like. The beats that he sent me were fire, you know? Yeah, shout out to 20 on the beat. Me and him got something going on, too. I don't know who that person is, but shout out you. <laughs> um, Yo, that's the... That's, that's an the Amer- American producer. producer. Uh, there's a guy named Paven Melody. Okay. He's sick. Yeah. Where is he from? Um, I'm not even sure where in the States he's from. So he's honestly, honestly, I follow him from YouTube. I subscribe to him on YouTube. Nice. I know he's an American-based producer. He has a lot of sick beats. Nice. So... Um, obviously, I'd want to work with um, Murder Beats, too. Mm-hmm. Um, no no Pharrell's, no Timberlands? Nah, Young Berg, though. Nice. Hitmaker. Yeah. Hitmaker. Um, excuse me. Mm-mm. Why music not on title, fam? Mm-mm. Oh. 
yeah. no 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 oh no oh she's, well. missed, she's missed title over here like real talk i was like that's black yo you're only. just like my dad you know i'm dead ass like, like titles for the artists you know what i mean and it's really for the artists because i did a lot of research money, you, you know? do i did so much research to figure out what platform to listen to and i've listened to so many different platforms the sound quality on title, on title is amazing and honestly i don't want to do this 20 dollars a month thing but i think i'm about to do it still because the quality is going to be that much better because right now just with 10 dollars a month it's fire you're at 20 if i'm wrong beyonce did um um debut her she had everything her yeah on title, right? all of that. because it's they there. own it right yeah it's but there. title has a six percent increase on everything like i do this row kid it's express it's expensive they have a sis they have a six percent level higher than even itunes they do yeah. i'm not gonna lie and that say that it's not back, like say like for a million views on a million million plays on itunes is what i mean i know like i think it's them let's entertain them in a note. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll do that another mm -hmm. time. Ma you know, to be honest, but it's title actually gives their artists a little bit more money. They do, but they also have their own politics. They do, one hundred percent. I'm not saying there's all there's polys everywhere, no matter what. But I was like, guess what? It's black owned, and I'm gonna take it. Mm. And the quality is fire, so I'm not gonna wrong it. And I I respect title. I don't care if it's not Canadian. I don't care if anybody says that. No, I don't got a bag in title. No, nothing like that. It's but I respect it. To distribute your music at the end of the day, like if you're a colored artist, honestly, I'm gonna look into that still. Like I've been hearing it. Up. You're on title. It's not to say that you're not on title. Yeah. But your music is not. Your music now is not on title. Mm. Oh. I was like, I found you. I did, mm -hmm. cause I'm that person. I'm a, I'm a creeper. I will find you on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I will find you on Instagram. I'll find you on the internet. <laughs> She's Spotify. Right that's, that's, <laughs> I'm gonna say. that's why she has this. I promise job. you guys, Jeez. I will find you. I found it. I did. The cover is anime. You gotta like throw on that's it. That's the Black is Sailor Moon. Fire? Black Sailor Moon. That's Shout exactly what it is. That's fire. exactly what it is. And I was like, that's so what I found. No, music there, no it's there. That's okay. there. That's what's on title. We gotta, like your we new gotta stuff. We got to talk about Tuxedo Mask yeah. off here. Not there. Yeah, we'll talk about that later. I have a theory about Tuxedo Mask. Okay. He's, a, he's a dirt bag. Okay, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Yeah. We're not, <laughs> not going to do that. After you, what? Yeah, okay. we're not going to talk me. about that now. That was like my first love story. We're going to talk about that because I had the same thing and then Guts ruined it for me. So we'll talk about that later. That's why his name is Guts. Exactly. Guts. And no matter what you love, he's going for the gut. Unfortunately, <laughs> it has another reason why it's in your gut. But yeah, it's the truth. That's why it's <laughs> called your gut. <sighs> Anyways, that was witty. I have another. <laughs> it was, wasn't witty. it? That was witty. It was. Yeah. Um, okay. So I seen your album cover. You know. Mm -hmm. I rate it. You know. I do. I respect it. So I have a couple of questions, based on the comment, also. <laughs> um that i seen based on the picture that you posted that we'll get into because i'm 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 very open about this and people should know this about me and if you don't you're gonna know now and i really don't care but why milf milf tell me what it stands I'm a mother. for mm -hmm. it stands for mastery is learning first mm -hmm. it's you know mm -hmm. obviously it has two it's a double entendre mm -hmm. mother i'd like to mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. what i mean and mastery is learning first um, like I said, I showed you guys that I, I went through like a period where I was evolving. So it kind of it just represents that yo, in order for you to master something, you gotta learn first. You mm -hmm. can't just be a master right off the bat. You gotta go through shit. You gotta go through struggles. You gotta go. You know, sometimes you gotta revise things three, four times before you can master something. You know what I'm saying? And right, yeah, I thought it was fit. You know I mean, I like it. I read it. So. So I seen the picture and I seen the comment that you posted, you know, and you said, "Don't worry, when I can afford it, I'm gonna get them." But right now, mm -hmm. I'm smiling because to them, and I'm okay with it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, "Is this this is a thing for you? This yeah, is like a thing. thing. This is like a that's a promise to myself. It's a promise. That's a reward if I make it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Listen, Why do not, if, not if, if when I make I'll it, fight you. when I make it. Why? Why? I don't know. I just I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it from the age of since I was young. That's what I always wanted to have. You know what I'm saying? I promise you. Mm -hmm. I'm just staying real to what I've I always wanted. Promise you. <laughs> I promise you that I respect that because I've been saying this since I was probably like 12. Mm -hmm. And I promise you, when I have the bag, it's going it's down. Like I promise you. I'm like in my age and everything. I don't even care. It's happening. <laughs> Is it just? For, it's just for yourself, right? Because guys don't really care that much. Them. Like it's not even about them stuff. stuff. 
Yeah, they don't care if it's fake or <laughs> it's real. It's about them at the end of the day. I admire small. breasts more, you know, than anything else, though. I don't know. Maybe because the grass is always greener, right? I don't have, so maybe that's why I admire it so much, but... <laughs> I was going to go left there, <laughs> but... So, hold on. You... Dirt bag. Is, is, is it for female <laughs> and male you admire breasts? Or are you just saying for female you admire breasts more? Out of all I'm the body like parts? I'm saying, like, on myself or on oh, other females, period. Okay, I okay. think, like... Breast is the first thing you see. You know, when somebody sees you, that's the first thing they see. It's the front of you. It's the front of you. It's right in front of your face. But what you if know? they're walking from behind? I still gotta turn around to talk to you. That's right in your face. You but, but, but what if you? What if your ass is right there though? If your ass is right there and I'm seeing your ass right there, I'm like, damn, she already got some ass. And then she turned around and she got. Yeah, but I don't have that. Since she's just like, I can still, I can Yeah, but I don't have that. I'm like, I don't have that. Like my friend has a gorgeous. Like my yes. friend has a gorgeous face, and why don't women? Yeah, but I was just. No, I was no, no, all no. we think is tits and ass. No, 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 no. But this is a post that no, she. No, this no. is no, because she's speaking no. about the breasts being exactly. bigger and stuff like that. So this is why we're speaking but about that. But that's, but that's why I said originally. She, why <laughs> even need that? I'm, a, I'm, what, I'm on natural. I love my natural. That's what we're talking about right now. But guys, that's not what we're talking about right now. We're talking about the picture that was posted and the comment that was made, and why we're talking about this is because. Luna posted it and yes. because Luna posted it and I like respect her for it because I feel the same way she does that's why we're talking about it I feel like, no 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 I'm not saying why we're not talking about it no, we can talk about I was it. just reminding you guys why we were talking no, about I it know you know this. what I mean because you just went on a tangent about somebody's ass bro <laughs> most no, I just I was no, like, no, no. that's why I brought it back to her face I was like what I'm just saying like not all the time it's just, I don't mean to I feel like it's not always but like, all why the time. Did, no it's not even just you you respectable what is it like because you obviously are drawn this guy. to her concept I just told, I just explained it. Yeah, I, I no, was like, bro, I, wanna Mac, know, I was I like, <laughs> Luna ain't got no. T- she just said it. She's like, I ain't got no titties. I ain't got no. T- I don't have any. But These bras have are have what titties. give you the illusion that they're if there. If you don't have titties, then I don't have titties. Mm-hmm. In my life. Uh, Listen, I got a good feel. bra. That's what I got. Uh, facts on facts. <laughs> illusion. <laughs> Lose shout out Lasenzo. <laughs> no, shout out Lasenzo. Sorry, 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 sorry. Lasenzo ain't got those good, good bras like that. Victoria's Secret. Sorry. Cause that's really what it is. Exactly, it's a good bra. How long did it take you to get? How long did it take you to get a bra that fits you? That's what I'm saying. It took Victoria's Secret to come along and help, man, <laughs> to do that. But I want titties too. Exactly. So when we get so the bag, it. it's finna happen. Oh. And everybody just gotta shut the f up. That's what I'm saying. And there's the conversation. Anyway, so we're gonna get a little personal, guys. Mm-hmm.